Hi, this is Michael Hayter from Expands VR, and this is the third in our beginner series for Shader Graph for Unity. Uh, in the past couple of episodes, we've started off with some of the basics, showing you how to get up and running, and then we've shown you how to start with a few of the very basic nodes. But so far, besides um, manipulating some basic inputs we haven't actually really done any maths or other manipulations of our shaders so in this one we're going to go a little bit more into how we do that um, we're also going to start uh, going into how the uv space works in shaders and if you're new to the channel don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and of course click that notification button down below to make sure you are notified whenever I post a new tutorial for you. To make things a little bit easier we're only really going to be doing dealing with 2D space for a while. Uh, once you can wrap your head around the 2D space and how that works then we will move on to 3D space which isn't that much a jump at that point but it really is easier just to see things in 2D space for a little bit. In saying that, there's a few important concepts that we just need to get through before going forward. The first one to understand is that with UV spaces, that we're dealing with a Cartesian coordinate system. So if I just bring this over here, you can see once again, we've got our green and red colors coming back into it again. So green for our Y axis and red for our X. Same as when we've got it in the scene and we're using the uh, transformation gizmo. And when we bring up our UV map, you can see as we explained before, um, that we start with zero down the bottom and as we move along the X axis, that we progress to one. And as we move up the Y axis, again, we're moving to one. And over here in the corner, we've got one on one for both of them. And down the bottom here, you'll see that I've added in the U and V for the UV map. So that's what the UV map means. UV doesn't stand for anything. It's just that with the um, our 3D models, you're using the X, Y, and Z. And for our 2D um, coordinate system, we're using U and V. But also in the channels, when we're dealing with things like shader graph and stuff, we're also using the RGB to represent values. And so your red channel is always going to be your X value and your green channel is always going to be your Y value. And this is going to make more sense in a second. So I'm going to overlay a colors so you can see what's going on a bit more. So as we can see here and down the bottom in the left where we got zero and zero it is black and as we progress along the x axis and we get to one it becomes red and the same thing over here as we go up the y axis and we get to one it becomes green and on the top right hand corner when we got one for the x and one for the y we have yellow and we're going to demonstrate this a little bit more now in Shader Graph as we delve into a few extra new nodes. And jumping straight back into Unity, the next node we're going to use is a texture. And very simply, just grab your um, image from your assets folder. Drag it straight into Shade Graph and it automatically creates the sample texture 2D node for you. Nothing more to do. And to see what it's doing here, just grab here and plug it into our master node. Click save. And there you go. You can see our texture on our quad. And we can also see, if we click on here, we can see our gizmo again. You can see the UV coordinates represented on our quad demonstrating visually what we were talking about before. Now, because we've got a nice, simple uh, black and white texture here, uh, what we can do is add some color to it. And we can do that using our next node, which is the multiple node, uh, multiply node. So right click, create node, multiply. Let's get this out of the way. So instead of plugging into our master, we're gonna plug it into here, plug our color in. and click save and there we go we've now got color on our texture here now the big question is is how is this actually working well quite simply it's just a normal maths 
And we know from what we talked about before that white represents one, black represents zero. So all that is happening here is the color that we are sending into our multiply node is being uh, multiplied by either one or zero from here. So whenever it's got a one, it's showing the color. Whenever it's got a zero, a black, of course, it's not showing anything, which is then being passed through to our master node. And to help us demonstrate a little bit more about how the uh, coordinates are working here and the maths behind it all, we're going to bring in our next node, which is the UV node. And this is actually visually displaying the UV coordinates as we've seen from that image in Photoshop before. And if I plug it straight into the multiply node, get rid of this color one, you can see just like the image we had in Photoshop before. We save it, it'll come onto our quad, and there you go. You can see our Y values or our U, uh, V values. And over here we have our X or our U values going from red. And we can visualize this even more about what's going on and actually start getting a bit of functionality is if we get the split node. So here what we do is we're going to take out our red channel, which we know is our X value, plug it in. And now we can start seeing a shift in color from black to white across it. Now, why is this happening? Why aren't we seeing red go across? Well, if we grab the preview node, and again, the preview node is just a great way to visualize and see what's going on. We can see that we have a gradient going from black to white, because you've got to remember each one of these channels is just a value, they're not a color. There's just the red channel here is just a value of one, zero to one, and we know that um, from us expressing across here, that over here, black is zero. Over here, we're going to one, and we're just seeing that visualized over here. And we can plug that in there for safe, uh, for ease. So now we're seeing that come across. And if we were to plug in the green or our Y value, you're gonna see now that it's gonna go vertically. And we can once again, if we want, Use that to multiply. Grab our red color again. And we can see different ways how we can make this work. Because once again, we're adding our zero to one value into our red. So zero of red to a one of red and then multiplying again into what we have here. Now I was going to leave it there, but I'm actually going to show you one more node before we finish this video and then give you a challenge uh, leading up into the next one. Because one of the most important things in programming and learning this is actually challenging yourself to and figuring out some things on your own. And so the next one we're going to teach you is the one minus node. And just as a reminder, anytime you want to figure out what a node does or be reminded of what it does, the gear here, just right click on it, open the documentation, and this will let you know what it does. And it's quite simply, it's telling you here that it the output is equal to one minus the input. And here it's saying it could be a float four. And it's quite simply put, um, all it's really doing, all that we need to know that it does is that it's gonna flip the values for us. So wherever we have a one, we're gonna get a zero, or when we white, we're gonna get black, and vice versa, black is gonna give us white. So as an example, over here there you go you can see that we've now flipped that value over we don't need the preview node to see that anymore 
So there you go, that gives us another option to manipulate what we have here. So my challenge for you for next time is I wanna see if you can actually make the, um, see how we've got the black bar up here? See if you can get it so that we have black on the top and the bottom or on the sides or all the way around. Up to you what you wanna do but see if you can use what we have here and you should, you have all the tools available to you to try and do that. And that's what I'll start off with on the next video and with going forward with um, all the next nodes that we're gonna be using. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share to help grow our beautiful Unity community. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification button below to make sure you get to see our next video. See you shortly.